Hello children, uh, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today I want to talk to you about IOQM, which is the upcoming Mathematical Olympiad in India. It's usually held in the month of September, at least that's what happened the last year. Now, if you're in school, many of you are probably a little bit confused because there are too many so-called Olympiads going on. Many of your friends are taking it. Um, let me tell you one thing. Don't worry about those Olympiads, those contests. To be very honest, none of them will matter a dime. The only contest that matters in India is the IOQM, the first level. And the second level is called RMO, the Regional Math Olympiad. And the third level is called INMO, Indian National Math Olympiad. So, if you are new to this world, you might find this a little bit confusing. But slowly, we will help you to understand this better. So, let's first talk about IOQM. I'll talk about resources that you can use to prepare for it this year. So, to do well in IOQM, first of all, you can take it from the grade 8. So, if you are below grade 8, then you have some time to prepare for it. Do not get distracted by hundreds and hundreds of contests. Stay focused and prepare for the only thing that matters. If you do well in IOQM, then RMO, then INMO. And probably in IMO, the final stage, International Math Olympiad. Then some of the best universities of the world will welcome you with open arms. And you will get to learn a lot of good mathematics. So, how do you start preparing for it the first thing is depth of knowledge that's what's required for the real mathematical olympiads not learning xyz formulas those will not help depth of knowledge that is acquired through problem solving beautiful problem solving so the first thing that you should be doing is to allocate at least a couple of hours every day to solve nice problems. But that's not enough. That's just the starting of it. As a second step, I would request you to live with the problems. The way I do it is that I carry those problems in a small notebook and I, when I, wherever I go, maybe in a transportation medium, Maybe I'm sitting somewhere, maybe I'm drinking coffee, whatever I do. I'm always, you know, looking back into that notebook and thinking about those problems. That's what you should be doing as well. You have to live with mathematics to do well in these sort of contests. And that's not even important to do well in mathematics. So carry a small notebook, like a pocket notebook where you should always have at least two problems which you are thinking about. Once you're done with those two problems, then you put two more problems there. So first, allocate two hours every day for non-routine problem solving. Second, live with mathematics. Third thing is about books. So focus on one or two very good books. I know there are a lot of resources online. I know your friends are probably talking about this book, that book and so on. But focus is the most important thing here. If you try 10 different things, they'll probably end up doing none of them. Just scratching the surface of them. That's not enough. So, here is what you should be doing. Focus on a couple of books. We recommend Challenges and Trills of Pre-College Mathematics. Mathematical Circles by Foman and Excursion in Mathematics. These are the three books that we suggest. There are a ton of other books, of course, out there. Very nice books. But as I mentioned before, the entire game is about focus. So you can incentivize yourself. You can play a little mind game with yourself. You can tell yourself that, okay, if I'm done with these three books, if I'm done with solving all the problems in these three books, then I'm incentivized to go for a new one. But before I complete these three, I will not get distracted. I will not run around and do 10 different things. 
I will focus on only what's important, the problems in these three books. The three, third thing. The fourth thing, and that's very important in this particular age at least, collaboration. Mathematics is not done alone. If you are a student of Chinta, make sure to attend the five days a week problem solving sessions. So our students are very successful in these leading contests like IOQM, RMO, IMO, um, ISICM, I entrances because they are doing beautiful mathematics almost every day. That's important. So five days a week problem solving. If you are an internal student of Chinta, even if you are not an internal student, talk to your friends who are planning for this sort of contest and regularly engage with them. Tell them, you know, I could not do that particular problem. Can you think about it? There is no harm in admitting that you could not do a particular problem. Maybe when you could do a particular problem, then you can explain to your friend, you know, I found a really good solution for this. It is an ingenious trick. You just do this perpendicular construction and the entire thing opens up. This conversation is important. This conversation with your teacher, if you are inside Chinta, with your teacher or with your friends. And if, and if you're not in Chinta, then of course, in your school, maybe you can find someone. So I would request you to do collaboration. This is often understated. This is often understated, but this is a key component of this entire thing. And the final, the fifth thing is never miss a day. Never miss a day. That means, let's say you are, you have a fever, you have some other engagement, you have school exams going on, you have XYZ festivals, you are traveling somewhere. Never miss a day. Just tell yourself, you know, up to September, I will never, ever miss a day of problem solving. You know, this act, this will change the way you see life. You do problems, you do, you approach education. It will bring in a sort of professionalism in the entire process. And if you love problem solving, then you will enjoy this entire process immensely. I hope this video has been useful. If you are a student of Chinta, make sure to share your ideas as well with your friends. And whoever is watching, if you have some good book suggestion, why don't you put it in the comment section? I also want to know if you have studied a very good book. Maybe I learned something. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. All the best for IOQM. I am sure that you will do really well. Take care. Bye.